should you get a salt free water treatment system? So if you live in Florida where the water is extremely, extremely hard, I would recommend getting a salt system. Now this doesn't mean that it's adding a ton of salt to your system. It just means that the system uses salt during its regeneration process where it takes calcium and magnesium ions and exchanges them from sodium ions to create softer water so you don't have the calcium build up in the hard spots all over your home. Now, if you are to get thinking about getting a salt-free water treatment system, there are reasons why people would get one. One, you don't have anywhere to drain the salt water, waste water, because you live in a uh, multi-story condo or something where you don't have access to your own yard or to um, any draining areas. Um, the, the benefits that you're going to see with a salt-free water softener is a reduced amount of scale, but you're still going to see the hard water spots. You're still going to have that rough feeling on your skin and on your hair and the other issues that normally you would complain about with hard water. So let's say that we took the water from 12 grains per gallon of hardness down to eight grains per gallon of hardness. Technically, we have softened the water, which is how we're still able to call a salt-free water treatment system a water softener. It will also remove the chlorine. That is one of the big benefits of a salt-free water system. The smell will not be there anymore if you got a good one. So. It's very similar to a refrigerator filter, except for the whole house. The difference with a salt-based water softener system is that it is going to, on the date, on every couple of days, regenerate itself using salt to then clean out all of that calcium and magnesium it's trapped in the water softener resin beads and it's going to flush that out of the system through the drain effectively removing it as opposed to just reducing it as you would with a salt-free water softener Hello? Hello?